This piece is called "Come to" is called "To Know Me," and um, usually when people tell you about it themselves, they give you a long dry out story. So um, this is my reason for not doing that. One day you will come to know me, but it won't be by the telling of my story, because while time is ever transient in her purpose marking the passage of precious moments, it can only be captured in past tense. And like a freeze frame photograph, my story exists only in the extinction of years gone by, never to be reborn. And while so many embrace their story as who they are and always will be, their presence may crack and fade like an old book long forgotten. It's magic lying dormant on its pages, unexpressed. And though a photograph can capture a memory, a moment of beauty or emotion, or record a tragedy, it is still just a visual depiction of the past, never catching up with ever moving time. It can't capture the smell of a rose, or hear a baby's laughter, or feel a loving caress. And as a photograph must be viewed to express, a book must be read, its story must be spoken to be known. And to be known by your story, you must recount it over and over, polishing the dusty pages of a past faded by time. But it is my desire to live present tense, to express and experience love, to soothe away a baby's cry, to see the laughter in my beloved's eyes, to drink in the beauty of humanity's blue, green, brown, and hazel eyes, to marvel at our rainbow shades of skin and the divine beauty held within, to share abundance with gratitude in helping a stranger, to be an instrument of peace by choosing love over anger, to cleanse my soul through the release of my tears. To live inside each note of a symphony, dancing joy with every molecule of my being. To speak future tense into being by authority of my birthright. But only in this present tense of now can I meet you soul to soul, and with the God in me see the glow of God in you. So as I stand here, naked to my soul, minus the tattered layered clothing of past tense, I say to you, one day you will come to know me, but it won't be by the telling of my story.